at the end of season one i told you guys that i'm gonna go for the ace this time i was grinding in farm lockdown mode as solo or playing with randoms and i want to encourage you all guys that never give up because it's not impossible to reach ace or even legend if you have time and proper dedication shoot loot subscribe let's go in this game i spawned on the east side and played with an ace 31 i know it's not the best weapon in the world but it brought me luck and i did four kills in that house near to the villa and it was i think my most insane fight in that area ever there were multiple bodies laying around and i had to activate my tetris skills my loot management skills to pick up the most valuable items because i was the last man standing or maybe not Another game where I started on the east side and it was actually a boring start, nothing really happened so I headed to the villa, checked the safe and then I started heading to the motel but I heard some noises so I turned around, I was hiding myself in the bushes and I think I did some pretty nice and decent kills where the enemies didn't really know where the shots come from. I knew that there's a third player and for some weird reason I didn't change my position and yeah, I, I get punished, still I could earn 65 rank points. Finally a game from the trade center side, from the west side of the map and I had some nice push into the trade center. I had random players but I think they were more hindering me. I was hunting down the enemy squad one by one. The first one when I entered the trade center up on the stairs, the second one from the roof and then their teammates started coming from me but honestly they just walked directly into my crosshair so they were easy targets. My teammates didn't do too much on top of picking up loot, which was actually mine, but anyways. So I headed downstairs, I wanted to check that body, and honestly speaking, I, I, I don't feel that, that I did a mistake here, it just happened. It is arena breakout, it's hardcore, it happens. Game number 4, M110, and by the way, I highly recommend this gun, I think it's super powerful, it's super accurate, you can kill people from a long distance, it's not automatic, but still a very decent gun. After getting one kill, the second player started running towards the stables, and I knew that there's a third player up in that house, so we threw some grenades and then ran up and basically eliminated him. Other than that, not really much was happening in this game. We went to the motel and then extracted near to the motel. But hey, I kept myself alive and I got 75 rank points. Game number 5, another one with M110 and it's a bittersweet moment because I did one kill against an ace player I was proud of. I picked up decent stuff and while I was extracting, I did a huge mistake. I know it was my mistake, I could have done better, but I just failed. I'm gonna grab the chance and ask you guys to hit that like button and the subscribe, especially if you wanna see more, and after that please leave a comment if you feel I have the potential to become ace or not. And please don't judge me based on this one single situation. Game number 6, another one starting on the east side of the map and this time I was running backwards because I was expecting somebody to come and yeah, I was right, I got a player at the beginning. Unfortunately he didn't have any nice equipment so I pushed forward to that house near the villa and we got attacked. I was absolutely sure that I'm going to be destroyed after being hit by that grenade but fortunately I could heal myself up and headed towards the villa. Struggling with thirstiness and losing constantly HP, I got attacked or we got attacked by another team but at the end of the day we were the ones coming out alive. So all I had to do is to loot and then extract, get out of the map. And in this final game, yet another east side 
move on. I detached myself a bit from the team by staying in the house near the villa, but then I heard some noises, some fights coming from the loading area, so I thought it would make sense to run behind them. I didn't know how many enemies I'm gonna face, but I was trying to sneak into that direction, and actually, this is what brought me the first kill. My teammate was very generous, he offered me a shitty gun in exchange for the M4 I picked up from that guy I just killed, but I said no. After that we headed to the motel, we faced the boss and all the guards, and it was a fight for nothing because I didn't really find anything useful in the motel, so I headed to the motel extraction. I told my teammates come follow me and actually I didn't start the timer straight away because I wanted to be sure that they're gonna have a chance to get to that location. That, that's, that, that was, that was, that was a mistake. But hey, this is Arena Breakout, it's hardcore, we have ups and downs. And I gotta tell you that there are more downs in this game. But still we go back, we go back and try again. And I'm going to go back until I hit that ace. Thank you for your attention, see you next time, Shady out, bye.